everybody. In uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Kodi. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to launch your Kodi, whether it's on your computer or it's on your um, Android uh, TV box. It's the same idea. So you go ahead and launch uh, Kodi. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to go into your settings or actually into your system and then into your file manager you want to go to add a source and in the first box right here hit OK on that and then you want to type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG and hit done okay and then go down here where it says enter a name for this uh, media source hit OK on that and just call it anything you want I'm just gonna call it Fusion so I know which one I'm doing and then I'm gonna go hit done once that's complete just go ahead and hit OK on that and you'll have it right here now I've done this already uh, this is just a second one here for me to show you uh, basically uh, I'm gonna just remove it because I already have one added okay take that out so as I already did mine it's right here so it should look something like that and then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and add another source okay Hit okay on that and in here okay we're gonna type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Cody land dot co forward slash Cody and we're gonna hit done and in this case we have both okay we have the name and we have the source so we're just gonna go ahead and hit OK on that there we go and we have it right here and also we're gonna add another one so if you choose to add a TV guide uh, for your live TV you can also do that so we're gonna put in here HTTP colon forward slash forward slash uh, we're gonna put techbox.tv forward slash repo forward slash install so it's http colon forward slash forward slash techbox.tv forward slash repo forward slash install and we're gonna hit done and same idea we have the uh, the link or the the source and we have the name down here and now we're gonna just go ahead and hit OK on that okay and that basically now we have all the sources that we need for the meantime okay so once that's done we're just gonna hit back okay and go back to this to the main menu and now we're gonna go into into add-ons okay hit OK and then we're gonna go down install from zip file and the first thing we want to do is go into fusion that's the one we did hit OK on that and we're gonna hit OK on start here uh, wait for the notification uh, in the bottom down here it will tell you config wizard enabled okay and once that's complete okay you want to go again into install from zip file do the same thing for Kodi, hit OK on Kodi, and you want to hit OK on the plugin uh, .video .db -td -bnz -wizard zip. hit OK on that, and give it a few seconds, it will give you a notification as well saying that it has been enabled. Okay, and uh, once that's complete, okay, you go again into install from zip file, and now we're going to hit on this install to install the uh, TV guide. So you hit OK on that, and you're going to get this xpmc.repo.techbox uh, TV guide. Hit OK on that. Uh, give it a few seconds for the notification to come up, and it will tell you your iView TV guide has been enabled. All right. Now, we've already done all that, so we don't have to do it again. And then once that's complete, you want to just exit and go back to the main menu and now what you want to do is you want to go into programs hit OK onto programs and you want to go down the first thing you want to do is you want to go into uh, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to go into this, which is the TDBNZ wizard. And you want to hit OK on that. And it's going to give you different options. Um, I like, I mean, you could pretty much use any one of those and just configure it as you go. Uh, it's up to you. I personally like this one, which is a Cody Land build. Click OK on that. It's so now click OK on that. It's going to tell you download. Now this could take a few minutes. Um, I've already done mine, so I'm not going to do it again. I just wanted to show you an idea what it's going to give you. Okay, I'm just going to cancel it. Okay, but if you give it a few minutes, it will complete and it will ask you to um, restart your Cody. But to restart your Cody to make sure everything sticks is you have to completely unplug your box from the power and plug it back in and launch Cody again and then you should have it, uh, you should have everything. Alright, so that's as far as that. Uh, the next thing we want to do is probably, yeah, I'll show you how to install the, um, I'll show you how to install the TV guide as well. So what you want to do is you want to go into system then add-ons and you want to go install from repository and then you want to go down and look for the iView TV guide add-on. Hit OK on that. Go into programs and go into iView scan. Hit OK. Alright, down here it's going to give you an option to install. I've already done mine so it says uninstall but in your case it will say install. You hit OK and then you can install it. Once you complete that you go back to the iView TV guide. You hit OK on that. Same idea. Install it as well and it will tell you it has been enabled. Okay, I have both of them enabled right here, so I don't have to do that. Exit out of here, and that is pretty much complete. So this is how you, uh, how you set up your Kodi, and uh, most of it should be done for you already. You can modify it as you like. Uh, Maybe later on I'll do another video showing you how to modify uh, this uh, skin and how to add stuff to, to this, how to change the, the, the menu, to add stuff to the menu, add names, change names. Uh, but this is not the topic right now. So the next thing we want to do is I want to show you how to... Actually, we will leave it at this. Okay, I'll make another video uh, for the other things I want to do, but in the meanwhile, I will just leave it at this.